One of the first features I developed for Harmony Wizard was actually something I wanted for myself. When I start a new composition, I often record some chords freely without using the grid, just in free time. In many cases, I later want to align these chords to the grid with one chord per bar. While I could use Studio One's step record for this, I sometimes prefer to record freely first and decide later what to do with the chords. That's where the distribute chords command comes in handy. You can find it under time and rhythm here in the tools menu. All items that end with the three dots are dialogues, so these commands open a window with additional options. And here you can say place chords every quarter note, half note, one bar, two bars or four bars. I'll choose one bar. Then start at bar of the first chord. In our case, that will be bar one. And let's just click OK. And this moves each chord to its own bar. So you don't have to move them manually, which can be a lot of work. In this case, the chords I've played are quite short. And there's another option for that. In the dialog, you can select adjust chord length and that will make the chords fill the whole bar. But you can also decide if you want to have a custom start position for the chords. Maybe you want the chords to start at bar 8 or let's say bar 9. Then I can put my cursor in bar 9. And then in the dialog, I will use the second option, start at bar at cursor. And now my chords start at bar 9. Make sure you extend the instrument part if the chords go beyond the part. You can do this by grabbing the upper right corner of the part and dragging it to the right to extend the part. And just for the sake of completeness, if you want your chords to start at the beginning of the part, so let's say your part starts at something like this, and you want the chords to start right here, then you can say start at beginning of part, and that's what's going to happen. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel because I'm not only going to do Harmony Wizard videos, but I'll also be doing general Studio One tutorials soon. Thanks for watching.